The world was captivated when a stopwatch ticked away, counting down the precious hours of five passengers trapped inside the ill-fated Ocean Gate submarine. As the vessel found itself lost in the vast and treacherous depths of the ocean, the fate of those on board seemed sealed. But amidst this tragedy, renowned astrophysicist and deep ocean researcher, Neil deGrasse Tyson, emerged with his perspective, shedding light on the delicate balance between innovation and adherence to industry standards. Welcome back, viewers, to our YouTube channel. Today, we dive into the captivating story of the Ocean Gate submarine incident, where the lives of five passengers hung in the balance. But before we delve into the harrowing details, let's take a moment to discuss the thoughts of Neil deGrasse Tyson, an esteemed scientist who brings a unique perspective to this tragic event. The Ocean Gate submarine set off on its expedition amidst great anticipation, but the conditions were far from ideal. Reports suggested that the sub had poor conditions and blatant disregard for safety protocols, sealing its fate before it even began. The rescue mission faced tremendous challenges, with experts estimating they had only 76 hours to locate the missing vessel. The odds of finding the passengers alive were slim, and a grim reality awaited them. The situation faced by the five passengers inside the ill-fated submarine was nothing short of harrowing. What made their predicament even more distressing was the design of the vessel itself. The gate of the submarine, which served as the only means of entry or exit, could only be opened from the outside. This meant that the passengers were effectively trapped inside, with no way to escape on their own. Even if the submarine were to be located on the ocean floor, the rescuers faced insurmountable challenges in reaching the stranded passengers. The extreme depth of the ocean and the treacherous conditions of the muddy oceanic floor posed significant obstacles. The immense pressure at such depths made any rescue attempt exceedingly difficult and dangerous. Moreover, the muddy oceanic floor created an additional problem. It made the submarine immovable and inaccessible, essentially rendering any rescue mission futile. The submersibles and equipment at the disposal of the rescuers were ill-equipped to navigate and operate effectively in such an environment. It was an incredibly daunting task that seemed almost impossible to overcome. As the hours passed by and the situation grew more desperate, there appeared to be no viable solution in sight. The passengers, trapped inside the submarine, faced a grim and uncertain fate. The world watched helplessly as the clock ticked away, realizing that the chances of their survival were rapidly diminishing. In these dire circumstances, the resilience and fighting spirit of the human instinct for survival became tragically futile. The passengers, despite their inherent will to fight for their lives, were rendered powerless by the circumstances surrounding them. The odds were stacked against them, and their hopes for rescue were dwindling. With each passing moment, it became increasingly evident that the fate of the passengers seemed sealed. The world held its breath, hoping for a miracle, but the reality of the situation painted a bleak and heartbreaking picture. The combination of the submarine's design flaw, the unforgiving depth of the ocean, and the challenging conditions on the ocean floor created an insurmountable barrier to their rescue. As the tragedy unfolded, questions arose about Ocean Gate's commitment to safety. A letter from 2018, penned by the Marine Technology Society, revealed major concerns about the Titan submersible and its expeditions. The society criticized Ocean Gate for its experimental approach and lack of independent assessment from industry regulators. It became apparent that the company had intentionally avoided subjecting the vessel to evaluation by respected organizations, raising serious doubts about their commitment to safety. The revelations surrounding the Titan submersible have brought to light a complex web of intrigue, shedding light on the delicate balance between innovation and adherence to industry standards. At the center of this controversy is Stockton Rush, the CEO of Ocean Gate, whose actions and decisions have raised significant concerns about the company's approach to safety. Russia's dismissive attitude toward expert opinions and safety checks became evident as he prioritized rapid innovation over comprehensive testing. Despite warnings and criticisms from industry professionals and experts, Rush seemed determined to push forward with the company's ambitious ventures. This cavalier approach to safety raised serious questions about the well-being of the passengers entrusted to Ocean Gate's care. 
the company's history further compounded these concerns. Past allegations of neglecting safety protocols and disregarding proper testing protocols emerged, casting a shadow over the company's commitment to passenger safety. External reviewers, as well as OceanGate's own employees and engineers, had expressed doubts about the submarine's reliability and ability to withstand the immense pressure of the ocean depths. These doubts and suspicions raised valid concerns about the vessel's construction materials, emergency exit mechanism, and overall reliability. Furthermore, internal strife within OceanGate added to the growing skepticism. David Lockridge, the director of marine operations, conducted multiple tests on the submersible's capacity to endure high pressures and extreme depths. The results of these tests were far from optimistic, as Lockridge raised serious concerns about the submarine's readiness and the potential risks faced by those on board. However, when Lockridge brought his concerns to the attention of the company's management and CEO, he was met with strategic silence and, ultimately, faced wrongful termination from his position. These revelations paint a troubling picture of a company that disregarded the importance of safety protocols and failed to address the concerns raised by its own employees and industry professionals. Russia's public statements and blog posts further highlighted his belief that standardized security tests hindered technological innovation. This attitude, combined with the dismissal of expert opinions, suggests a blatant disregard for the well-being of passengers and a willingness to prioritize progress over safety. The implications of OceanGate's actions are significant. They call into question the role of safety regulation and the need for industry standards in the realm of commercial submersibles. The tragic outcome of the Titan submersible serves as a stark reminder that innovation must be balanced with rigorous testing, adherence to safety protocols, and the well-being of those who embark on these extraordinary ventures. According to Tyson, the revelations surrounding the Titan submersible and OceanGate's approach to safety raised significant questions about the balance between innovation and adherence to industry standards. He expressed his concern over the dismissive attitude of OceanGate's CEO, Stockton Rush, towards expert opinions and safety checks. Rush's preference for rapid innovation over comprehensive testing, Tyson argued, posed significant risks to the well-being of passengers. The revelations surrounding the Titan submersible and OceanGate's approach to safety have exposed a disturbing pattern of neglect and disregard for industry standards. The CEO's dismissive attitude toward expert opinions, past allegations of neglecting safety protocols, and internal strife within the company all contribute to a growing concern about the well-being of passengers and the delicate balance between innovation and adherence to safety standards. The tragic incident involving OceanGate's Titan submersible raises profound questions about safety regulation and the responsibility of companies in the realm of deep-sea exploration. Experts, including renowned ocean explorer James Cameron, have called for a temporary pause on Titanic expeditions until a thorough understanding of what went wrong with the ill-fated submersible is achieved. The ocean demands respect, and it's crucial to prioritize safety over commercial interests when embarking on such ventures. And there you have it, folks, the shocking story of Ocean Gate expeditions and the ill-fated Titan submarine. This cautionary tale reminds us of the delicate balance between innovation and safety, highlighting the need for stringent regulations in the field of deep-sea exploration. As we bid farewell, remember to stay tuned for more captivating stories and intriguing revelations. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care and stay curious.